It's time for my surprise guest. <laughs> okay, so here are the clues. Uh, bring them on. Hoda, here are your three clues for today's mystery guest. Okay, I thought it was Andy One, Cohen's voice. That's this what... person was born in the state where you spent much of your youth. Two, West Virginia? this person is a coach, but not in sports. Blake? And three, there's no doubt he's engaged to the coolest what? girl around. Y'all booked Blake. Guess the mystery guest. Y'all did not book Blake Shelton. But, oh, yes, yes, yes. Blake, how are you? Well, it's really early here in, in Los Angeles, so I'm not sure yet. How <laughs> Okay. Uh, Wait I a minute. I, got, I have a question for you, Hoda. Okay. Okay. What did that? What was one of the clues that you did? You live in Oklahoma. Well, I was born in Norman, Oklahoma. Yeah. I grew up in Morgantown, West Virginia, and went to okay. college at Virginia Tech in Virginia. But Oklahoma. I mean, my parents went to OU. Man, my, my mom and dad went there. I don't know how. Maybe I knew. I don't remember ever knowing that before. Do. I don't think I ever knew that. Are you in a playroom? No wonder we have this connection. No <laughs> wonder. Wait, are you in a playroom? What are you doing in there? Where are you? I mean, look at look at this. <laughs> no, uh, this is actually, uh, believe it or not, Gwen's office. Uh, that's the difference in, the you know, Gwen's house in, in Los Angeles and my house in Oklahoma. There's, there's deer everywhere at my house in Oklahoma, and there's whatever this is behind me. <laughs> Uh, it, you, know what, you know what I thought it was going to be? You know what I thought you were going to tell me? You know what I thought it was? What? I thought it was the baby's room. Oh. <laughs> I was like, is that what's happening back there? So wait, so tell me, first of all, uh, it was so funny because just this morning we did a story on the whole, on the voice situation. And they said that Ariana Grande is going to be joining you guys. Yeah, she is. And, and uh, I'm excited about that. You know, they, that there's one chair on, on the voice. It seems like lately it's kind of turned into like this revolving door of, of different coaches that that we're able to bring in mm -hmm. and uh and they never let us know who it's going to be by the way until you know i think we found out about two days ago the producers mm -hmm. texted us and, and said it was going to be ariana so uh i'm excited about it I, i'm a fan of hers i'm not gonna lie I, we're still gonna beat the crap out of her <laughs> Uh, you know, so on, on the show, it's our job. They pay it. They pay us to win, Hoda. They don't pay me to lose. They, well, so. you know what? I saw them harassing you the other day. They were calling you pops. They were calling you grandpa. Like, what is going on here? What is that? Well, uh, look at me. I mean, my gosh, look, I've been doing this show. This is the twentieth season, so I guess I have it coming. I used to look like Ariana when I started <laughs> this show, and now look at me. So I. I I can take it. I can take it. Now, do you the, still? It, it's do, what it is, Hoda. Do you still love it, Blake? I mean, you know, it's like anything. Like, look, I, you know, I've been doing this show for a long, long time, and you know, do you still love going in there? Do you still get the rush, or how does it feel now? You know, I, I've, I have my favorite moments, and then yeah. I have my least favorite moments. Mm -hmm. My least favorites are the the battle rounds and, and the knockouts when it mm -hmm. comes to my team, because mm -hmm. you just, you know, you you. You have these people, you, you beg them to be on your team, and then the very next thing you do is kick half of them off. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, that's what makes it great to watch as a, as a fan of the show. I mean, that's what keeps you on the mm -hmm. edge of your seat. Mm -hmm. But as a coach, I, mean, I hate that part. My favorite is still uh, the, the blind auditions. It's just yeah. uh, it's so much fun to be had that we hear, get to hear all the singers, and we, that's when we really get to – uh, you know, mm -hmm. go go for the throat as far as you know the coaches competing against you. That's where I can't wait to to get a hold. I know of what you do. So tell me, uh, do you have do you have new That's music coming out? Uh, <laughs> do you have any new music coming out? We need new music from you. What you got? I, I do. Oh, uh, I think uh, I don't know. Yeah, they did. They just announced the uh, the album uh, is coming out. I think May twenty first, May twenty first, and. Uh, uh, there it is right there. It's called the album's called Body Language. And, and believe it or not, you know, this this album is full of songs that I've had recorded for some for a couple of years. Just part part of the reason is because obviously COVID kind of stopped everything while it was in motion. And, and so uh, it's a 
it's a I think makes for a stronger album because it's a, a collection of songs that's kind of stood the test of time for me and, mm -hmm. and we were able to just keep keep making the record and keep making it and refining it so really proud of it do you picture yourself like in 10 years you and Gwen just out in Oklahoma like not jetting all over the place, not doing a bunch of con. Do you just picture yourself kind of living a, a simpler life when you look way, way down the road? Well, I hope that's not too far down the road. <laughs> <laughs> ten, ten years sounds like way too long to me. Yeah. I, uh, I, I'd like to see that sooner than later. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, we've both pretty much, uh, you know, taken it. To the, to the limit as far as you know our careers go and 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 uh, touring and and now the, the television thing it's been fortunate to accomplish a lot of things uh, but hopefully at some point we'll get a chance to live some life hmm. uh, and I think we're both ready for that honestly you do you, you like life better out of the spotlight absolutely yeah. I think you know that uh, I know. about me. Uh, so I do. I, I, the older I get, the more I kind of feel like I'm starting to turn into a little bit of a hermit. You know, I'm just kind of yeah. passing things and, and except, except interviews with you, Hoda. You know I'm what? always excited. I love to talk you. To you. I love I, you. I love you too. Okay, wait, you got a new business, I hear. What do you I got? Do well, oh, that's you... happy, by the way, happy Smithworks Hard Ooh. Seltzer Lemonade Ooh. Day. So, what is Here, that? Uh, you know, we, we have uh, Smithworks uh, vodka that's been out for a few years now. In fact, uh, you were there for, for the launch of that there in Nashville. I remember, yeah. And, um, and today we're releasing uh, our hard seltzer lemonade, and uh, we're excited about it. It's American brewed, and uh, it's, it's, all, it's all the rage these days, Hoda, <laughs> those, those seltzers. I know you drink your wine, but we'll have to send you uh, a case of the of the seltzer, it's it's really good. Oh, it's I will take incredible. it. So and it's uh, several different flavors. So okay. So here's a question: Who's going to get married first, you and Gwen, or me and Joel? Do you have okay? You don't have to tell me, but do you have a, a wedding date well, set? It, ours was last November, but because of COVID, it all got messed up. So we're moving it, it forward. So we didn't. We weren't sure if it was going to be this summer or wait till next November. Yeah, I'm afraid if, if if she and I wait till next November, then I, I'm right back into the voice cycle yeah. again and uh, really want to be able to have plenty of time before and after. Uh, so m hopefully this summer mm -hmm. now, you know, I think we're right here at the point with, with COVID. It's like, it yeah. looks like it may be okay, yeah. but I don't yeah. know. So yeah. uh, that's tentatively the plan. So we'll see. So I'm going to say we are. We're getting married before you oh, guys. Oh, really? Hey, did you get your vaccine yeah. yet? Have you gotten your COVID vaccine? Uh, I did. Oh, I did. Good. Luckily, uh, you know, in Oklahoma, uh, we're way, way, you know, I think as far as all the states, you mm -hmm. know, I think we're ahead. But there's not as many people there, you know. And so I was lucky enough to get mine. So Good, good. Hey, is anyone going to sing at your wedding? Is, I heard Miley saying she wants to do it. Adam, your bestie, said he wants to do it. Anyone going to sing at your wedding? Well, man, I, you know, it's starting to sound like a Coachella lineup <laughs> here all of a sudden. I've got all these superstars saying they're going to do it. Uh, I hope so. I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm telling you, I, I'm not just saying this because it's the it's the line. It's we really don't know, you know, yeah. and I'd love to, to be able to take everybody up on their offer and have mm -hmm. this amazing concert wedding. But you know how it is. We're just trying to we're just waiting every day, just yeah. like everybody else, to see what our summer's going to look like and then go from there. Well, Blake, uh, thank you so much. I remember when you co-hosted with me and I'll never forget it. And you, for you, it's just another Wednesday. But you played a song and I remember I sat there on the set. Uh, where we used to be when I was with Kath, but it was you hosting with me. And I'll never forget, I remember thinking in my head, like, Blake Shelton is singing to me right now. Like, this is happening. And it was the <laughs> coolest. And it's an, one of those, everyone has a few unforgettables. And thanks for giving me mine. Well, thank you. That was uh, Who Are You When I'm Not Looking. I remember oh singing Oh, my that. God, you do. All right, Blake, yeah. thank you so much. Uh, you can catch The Voice Monday nights right here on NBC.